Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O holy apostles, and true the merciful God, that he grant our souls remission of transgressions, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didn't suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst dispel death by death, and as God has revealed the resurrection, disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one, except the thou took us who give thee birth, who intercedeth for us, and do thou our Savior, save a despairing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, and the dissimul of thy covenant, and cause of thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blood of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thou wast the most true servant of the Lord, and as the foremost of the seventy apostles, to shine forth in thy preaching with Paul, proclaiming Christ the Savior unto all. Wherefore, with song we hymn thy divine memory, O Barnabas. Lord of mercy, 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 Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who loveth the righteous and hath mercy on sinners, who calls all the salvation for the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life from thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and then all to that unapproachable glory, for blessed art thou in the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, and we magnify. In the name of our Father, bless. God, be gracious to us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even into this present hour, when let us hang upon the life-giving tree, let us make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death is destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners, and let unworthy servants, where we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and to behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. For we beseech thy boundless goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. For our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new, and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following in thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and the gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee be Son of glory, and an originate Father, thy most holy and good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King, O come, let us worship the Father, O Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship the Father, O Christ himself, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty is thou put on, and coverest thyself with light as the garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, and shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, 
Upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest the bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asks await to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, <coughs> from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He washeth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted, there will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. High mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. He hath made the moon for season, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest to darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in the dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor, until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest to them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease. And unto their dust till they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt free the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who we'll looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, the touch of the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, and they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O oh Lord, and wisdom as thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto thee, as of age of men. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let's pray to the Lord. The peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God in the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy temple and for them and with faith, reverence and the fear of God and to hear him, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our great Lord and Father is holy Mass, Patriarch Kirill, Pro the very most, Reverend Metropolitan Alarian First, Hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ. For all the Christian <coughs> people, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. We all the venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, I serve him and all his brethren in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For this land, its authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The God preserved the Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may deliver his people from enemies, visible and invisible, and 
impermanence, oneness of mind, brotherly love, and piety, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Travelers by sea, land, and air for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us all God by our grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, Lady Theotokos, the never virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another and all our holy virtues. Christ our God, to thee, O Lord, O Lord. Glory unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Father, unmoved be our 
the stone, you put him on the fifth stone. O oh God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do not judge me. O oh God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do not judge me. O oh God, I pronounce my prayer to hear unto the words of my mouth. O oh God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do not judge And in thy strength to open out your heart. Rabsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify us thy name into the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, supporting us we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever. Disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O come, O save us, have mercy on us, and keep us all God by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Who is good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. To our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and good defense before the third judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. All into remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To God, art thou and the love of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the age. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Blessed and most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. abominable sacrifices of the demons, and proclaiming the word, Lord, yet have delivered the nations from the deception of the idols, and taught them to worship the consubstantial trinity. And to the ever lifted up mine eyes, and to the lit lost in heaven, behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the hand may look unto the hands of a mistress, so do our eyes look unto the Lord our God. Until we take pity on us, together let us praise Peter and Paul, Luke, Matthew, Mark, and John, 
Andrew Thomas and Bartholomew, Simon the Canaanite, James and Philip, and let us praise the whole choir of the disciples as is me. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for greatly I will fill up the basement. Greatly hath our soul been filled that with let our flesh come upon him that prosper. And the appeasement on the crowd, O oppressed mothers, the earth did not hide you, but heaven received you. And unto you were opened the gates of paradise, and since ye have entered therein, ye may lie in the tree of life. Pray ye unto Christ, and he grant our souls peace and great mercy. Glory in the sixth stone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having living preserved on time that which was created according to the image of God, and through fasting establish your mind. As master over the pernicious passions, he arrived at that which is according to his likeness, in as far as he were able, for having manfully done violence to your nature, he strove to make that which is baser, subject to that which is more sublime. And to enslave the flesh to the spirit. Wherefore ye have been shown to be the summit of monastics, citizens of the desert, teachers of those who run the good race, the manifest rule of the virtues, and now in the heavens reflections having been abolished. Ye behold the Holy Trinity in purity, praying together for those who honor you with faith and love. Put now in the same throne, put now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men, the eyes my eye to erase to the omissions, disdain. Not my feeble sight at the hour when thy son shall judge the world, be thou my protection and helper. Now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared for the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, be mighty, will you more to have mercy on us? Holy God, be mighty, will you more to have mercy on us? Holy God, be mighty, will you more to have mercy on us? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages. Amen. Amen, O God of our fathers, deal ever with us according to thy gentleness. Take not thy mercy from us, but by their supplications, direct our life in peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever Christ our God, the word of the Father, who was incarnate of thee, have we come to know a virgin Theotokos, who alone are pure, who alone are blessed, wherefore we unceasingly magnify thee in song. 
mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, again we pray for our great one, Father, and holy men, this patriarch, and will for our love, very bumps, for every metropolitan alarm, for a siren, for the Russian church abroad, and all our great men in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But again, we pray for the all venerable abbot of the Sultan Monastery, our commander, right seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But again, we pray for the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But again, we pray to the Lord our God that he may deliver his people from enemies, visible and invisible, and confirm us oneness of mind, brotherly love, and piety. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us in the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of the soul. Monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed our master. And if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. And having set thyself to mercy, as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus tyrants, groaning in pain. <clears throat> We pray thee quickly, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Look down, O Master, lover of mankind, <clears throat> upon the sacrificial labors of our medical workers, <clears throat> and send them steadfast health, strength, and fortitude of spirit, wisdom to accomplish their work for the good of our people, and bring about through them the healing of thy suffering servants. We earnestly pray thee, Quickly hop in and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Well, again we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O God, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray who bless the building of our new church and that it, its foundation may be led, su laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may conti be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion for the power by the power operation grace of the most holy spirit let us all say O Lord heart and have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple. For them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present, who are way to be great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For a merciful God art thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians <clears throat> unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. Who are honorable in the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Who without corruption gave us birth, your God, the Word, the very Theotokos, the Edo, we magnify. 
Glory to the O Christ, God our whole. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, May Christ, our true God, be in succession to this most dear mother of the holy glorious all praised apostles of our father among the saints nicholas the wonder worker archbishop of mir and lycia of the holy great father and healer pontelaine of our holy father and nufrius the great and of our holy father peter of athos and of our holy father arsenius wonder worker of carnivus whose memory we celebrate and of the holy and righteous ancestors of god your human island of all the saints <coughs> and mercy and us and say us who is good and the love of the man Helen, Amen. Our great Lord and Father, through you, O most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend in our region, metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, the first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandant Seraphim. The brethren of this holy monastery and all Orthodox Christians, preserve, O Lord, for many. 